Pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, is an infection of the upper genital tract in women that can include endometritis, parametritis, salpingitis, oophoritis, tubo ovarian abscess, and peritonitis. The spectrum of disease ranges from subclinical asymptomatic infection to severe, life-threatening illness, sequelae include chronic pelvic pain, ectopic pregnancy, and infertility. PID is diagnosed clinically, with laboratory and imaging studies reserved for patients who have an uncertain diagnosis, who are severely ill, or do not respond to initial therapy. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Diagnostic Criteria include uterine, adnexal, or cervical motion tenderness, with no other obvious cause in women at risk of PID hospitalization for initial parenteral therapy is necessary for patients with tubo-ovarian abscess, and for those who are pregnant, severely ill, unable to follow a prescribed treatment plan, or unable to tolerate oral antibiotics. Patients also should be hospitalized if a surgical emergency cannot be excluded or if no clinical improvement occurs after three days. Pelvic inflammatory disease, PID is a polymicrobial infection that originates from upward spread of infecting organisms through the cervix and into the uterus, fallopian tubes, or peritoneal cavity. The causative agent often is never identified, but common causal agents are chlamydia trichomatis, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, anaerobic and anaerobic vaginal flora, including organisms involved in bacterial vaginosis. Symptoms of PID include lower abdominal pain, dyspareunia, fever, back pain, and vomiting, as well as symptoms of lower genital tract infection, such as abnormal vaginal discharge or bleeding, itching, and odor. Imaging studies that have been investigated in the evaluation of PID include transvaginal ultrasound, computed tomography and magnetic resonance imaging. MRI. As concerns ultrasound, the classic findings of acute PID on transvaginal ultrasound are 1. Tubal wall thickness greater than 5 mm 2. Incomplete septi within the tube. 3. Fluid in the cul de sac and the cogwheel sign, a cogwheel appearance on the cross section tubal view. Transvaginal ultrasound often is helpful in diagnosing tubo ovarian abscess, which may complicate PID. The addition of color Doppler flow or power Doppler to the standard black and white transvaginal ultrasound has been used to assess vascularity and pulsatility indices. In one small study, the power Doppler identified all the periscopically confirmed cases of acute PID in the study group and thus was found to be 100% sensitive for this diagnosis. If the disease progresses, reactive inflammation of surrounding pelvic and abdominal organs may be observed. You may have an ultrasound scan. Scans can identify severe PID but will not show up mild disease. It's possible to have a normal scan and still have PID. We will now deal with some PID detailedly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for notifications each time a video is uploaded.